he lapped at over 100 miles an hour. First, first lap ever over 100 miles an hour at a Grand Prix circuit. And uh, great Walter Rusk. And uh, unfortunately, he was killed during the Second World War. He was a pilot who was killed during the war, which was a sad. So he never that really finished. I think that was his last race before the outbreak of war. So he was leading Serafini on the Gilera. You forgot about that too, haven't you? So Serafini and him were having a real ding dong, but uh, Walter was leading them and Walter lapped it over a hundred. Then on the third lap down the seven mile straight, they say the first couple of laps he cleared the crowds off the hedges because the thing was all over the road. And when he came down seven miles straight over the big jumps, the crowd disappeared. So so he retired. So what do you think he retired with? Not engine trouble, not gearbox trouble. Front fork link broke here on the seven mile straight with a tremendous impact of landing. So he retired and that was it. So they used them in the TT that year too. They used them just after the war, Walter Rusk, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Jock West rode this bike. Mete, Belgium Grand Prix, managed to win it. But then in 46, they banned the superchargers from uh, racing motorcycles that were too expensive, tried to keep the cost down. So also, hello dear, all the superchargers were banned. and. Um, so they just sidelined that and that was it finished. So I was very fortunate to make friends with Jock West, who was the AGS rider, the AGS manager. He ran the, the factory at Plumstead. So we managed to purchase the porcupine and this from uh, Jock West. He seen it was going to the Heritage Trust. They were in a terrible state, but after a lot of work, we've got them going. Uh, we ran this on sun Sunday. Um, the porcupine, you know the porcupine? Blank, look again. Can't believe it. Where's your guy's history? Where are your history? Come on, you Ulster lot. What the, you remember the porcupine? Come on. Come on. The great Les Graham, he won the world championship, the first world championship of the FIM they ran the European Championship, but then in 1949, they run the World Championship, and Les Graham won it on the Porcupine. On this, maybe there was three works bikes, um, and uh, we're not sure which one was his. But um, there's many photographs of them in the Ulster Grand Prix. Uh, you, all you lot know Chambers Garage, don't you go past? Do you know that then? Way we've got we've got one answer right. We're doing well here. Yeah? We're doing well here. We're doing well here. What board champion used to work on it? Oh. Ralph Bryant. Ten out of ten. Way way way. You thought you were going to come. Okay, if I could just let you know, Sammy will probably do a couple of laps around the car park. So once it's running, if we can just make sure everybody parts to allow him through, and please don't get in the way, just keep the car park free. Thank you. Right. For all you lot from Ulster, supercharged bikes start easy. Right, just listen. Oh. They do not Yeah. <laughs> 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 